As with every outline, remember, skip the outline at first. Go right to the question and focus on what it wants. Now, this is one of the weirder things that they ask for. I don't love these questions, but I get it. The student wants to present the study, so present the study, that's one goal, to an audience already familiar with environmental DNA. So what does it mean to be already familiar with it? Well, it probably, probably means we do not need to define it because they're gonna know what environmental DNA means. So let's look at the choices and I think it'll become clear kind of as we go. So A, Sarah Euler McCance's researchers analyzed eDNA in water samples from the Florida Everglades for evidence of invasive constrictor snakes, which are difficult to observe. So they're definitely presenting the study. They're saying what they did, right? They analyzed these samples and um, for evidence of these snakes. So kind of summarizing the study. So one goal seems like checked off, right? Then already familiar. Well, the fact that they're not bothering to define this is pretty good. It's not so much that I'm checking off that second goal confidently. It's it's more that like I'm not crossing off that goal. Like it, it doesn't bother me the way they've introduced eDNA. It's fine. So let's look at some other examples. Uh, B, an analysis of eDNA can detect the presence of invasive species that are difficult to observe, such as constrictor snakes. But that does not talk about the study, right? It's, it maybe is kind of what the study was based on, but notice it doesn't even mention the study at all. It doesn't mention this person. We want to talk about the study. C, researchers found Burmese python eDNA or environmental DNA in water samples. eDNA is the DNA in released cellular materials such as shed skin cells. I don't know why these are so hard for me to say, but this is a definition. And there you go. The only reason we would need a definition is if we did not know what eDNA is. Now, personally, I don't know what it is, but I don't really care. I'm not reading this as if I'm trying to learn about it. I am reading this as a member of the audience that is already familiar with it, right? So put yourself in someone else's shoes. That's the goal of these questions is you have to read this with this particular goal in mind and, and try to pretend that you're, I don't know, that person, right? That kind of member of that audience. So this is violating the other um, the other rule. It's maybe talking about the studies, I don't know. But this, this other piece is violating the second goal in the question. This, is, this would be defining it for people who are unfamiliar with what it means. Uh, D, Sarah Euler McCance's researchers analyzed environmental DNA, eDNA, that is DNA from cellular materials released by organisms in water samples from the Florida Everglades. So this also, probably better than C, talks about the study, but it's also saying that they're if we were unfamiliar with this is with what this is, then now we're getting the definition, but we, we are supposed to be familiar. So you might think actually that either C or D is a better summary of the study. You might be like, well, those are more informative, but that wasn't our task. The goal of the question was we have to pretend we already know what it is, so we don't need it defined for us. And that is what A does, is it just moves past that word. It never explains what it is. It's all focused on the study. This is a very important part of these questions. I do not think this is a hard question. I think the only reason people get it wrong is they don't quite understand the rules of the game. And, and you got to know what these questions are trying to do and what your goal is in trying to answer them.